before any exam it's a good idea to know what would be the exact question in this exam there will be 20 questions altogether these 20 questions would be broken down into two separate papers each paper would contain about 10 questions that means you can think of the pure math exam as one exam of 20 questions broken down into two installments paper 1 and paper 2 in that respect do not have any difference they carry the same mark which is 100 marks and the exam time would be 2 hour each so it is basically if there are 20 questions and 10 questions are given in paper 1 those questions would not be repeated in paper 2 the different questions would be repeated in paper 2 so here is Jan 2007 and we can see on the right hand side the list of the 20 questions that would turn out to be in every pure math exam we have blocks quadratics under which there would be three questions we have logarithm then we have series under which there will be three more questions coordinate geometry will carry the most mark they have around four to five type of questions then there's differential calculus vectors trigonometry and graph plotting if you take a look at Jan 2007 paper 1 so we have differential calculus product rule given in paper 1 so it would not be repeated in paper 2 so we have this question differential calculus product rule usually there is quotient rule with it but sometimes the quotient rule can be given in another question then we have a shading inequality that falls under coordinate geometry coordinate geometry sketching then we have quadratics now quadratics have three type of questions completing the square inequality discriminant and forming quadratic equations so we have quadratic question over here only one quadratic question the rest would be given in paper 2 then we have rate of change rate of change fall under differential calculus we have AP series and we have binomial series so the geometric series or GP series would be given in paper 2 and we have calculus kinematics we have differential calculus maximum minimum rate we have trigonometric identities we have coordinate geometry and that's so that's the 10 question we are going to focus in paper 1 the first question is we have to differentiate and this is product rule remember the product rule is when you differentiate d by dx of two uh, variables multiplied together uv then it is going to be u d by dx of v plus v d by dx of u so that is the product rule so let's do this so the question is differentiate that that means d by dx that's differentiate and we have this expression so that would be x plus 2 e to the power thrice x so differentiate uh, the expression we open bracket write down that expression and close bracket so this is going to be u which is x plus 2 is u then d by dx of v which is e to the power thrice x plus v which is e to the power thrice x then d by dx of u which is x plus 2 so this would give you one mark for writing this out then you write x plus 2 x plus 2 is same as this because we don't have to differentiate this now d by dx of e to the power thrice x d by dx of e to the power thrice x is the same as e to the power thrice x because the derivative is unchanged derivative of e to the power ax is e to the power ax and we have to do a chain rule multiplied by d by dx of ax so that is the derivative so e to the power thrice x is going to be e to the power thrice x into d by dx of thrice x is 3 so this is 3 plus e to the power thrice x and d by dx of 1 is 1 and d by dx of 2 is 0 so we can just write here 1 so the answer can be simplified and written if you take e to the power thrice x common it would be e to the power thrice x 3 into x plus 2 plus 1 we can further simplify it e to the power thrice x thrice x plus 6 plus 1 which is thrice x plus 7 and we can write it as thrice x plus 7 e to the power twice x 
This question is about sketching, so this falls under coordinate geometry. We have to sketch x equals to 6, which is a vertical line, y equals to thrice x, uh, which is a line through the origin, and this is, uh, this is a regular line. So let's do this. So first of all, let's draw the y-axis. Then we have the x-axis and the origin. Okay, so this is question number A. So we have to sketch x equals to 6. So since it's a sketching, it doesn't have to be that accurate. Let me put x equals to 6 over here. So this is x equals to 6. Let me label it. It's a good idea to label x equals to 6, this vertical line. y equals to thrice x, it's always a line through the origin. So y equals to thrice x, it's a line like this that goes through the origin, like this. So this line is y equals to thrice x, a line through the origin. The next one is y equals to 15 minus twice x. If we put x equals to 0 over here, it turns out to be y equals to 15. So we can write here 15. And if we put y equals to 0 over here, it turns out to be uh, twice x equals to 15, x equals to 15 by 2, uh, which turns out to be 7.5. So if this is 6, 15 by 2 would be somewhere around here. Let's draw, join this line. So this would be the line. So let me label this y equals to 15 minus twice x. You might also want to uh, do this in rough or do this fairly on the side to show where does it cut the x-axis and where does it cut the y-axis. x-axis means y equal to 0, y-axis means x equals to 0. So this is question number A. Question number A is done. We have sketched it. In question number B, what we have to do is we have to do shading inequality. Remember, when you do sketching, it's always equal to, it's a Cartesian equation. But when we do inequality, it is always, it's not the picture, but it's the shading of that picture. So, y is less than 6 means you shade on the left hand side. So, if this is x and x is less than 6, it means you shade on the left hand side. So I'm going to give an arrow over here just to show the idea. This is on the left hand side. When you have y is less than or equal to trisex that means the original picture y equals to trisex you're going to shade below lower so you're going to shade lower so this is uh, let me give an arrow over here you're going to shade lower below this line you cannot go above this line and you cannot go beyond this line it has to be on the right hand side of the line x equals to 6 and finally when you have y is greater than or equal to 15 minus twice x it means it has to be above this line so we have three situations here. Below this line, y equals to thrice x. On the right hand side of the line, x equal to 6. And above this line, so the shading would be this one. This is the region that we have to shade. Always remember, in shading inequalities, is always an enclosed region. So B should be done in sketch. That's it. Question number three, we have to find the point of intersection between a curve, which is this quadratic shape, and a line, which is a line. So it, it is more or less like this. This is a parabola. And uh, so this is, this is the line. And the line and the curve, it intersects. And this is, in a way, coordinate geometry, but really this is quadratics. So... The first thing we have is y equals to thrice x squared minus 4x plus 2. This is equation 1. And uh, we can rearrange this as y equals to minus 7x plus 8. Minus 7 it should be negative grade, but it doesn't matter. It's just an idea. So this is equation 2. Now, by the method of substitution, we can write y equals to y. So this would be thrice x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals to minus 7x plus 8. So bring everything on this side. 3x squared minus 4x plus 7x plus 2 minus 8 equals to 0. This should be 3x squared plus thrice x minus 6 equals to 0. If you divide both sides with 3, it would be x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0. This would be 2 1 the 2. We can write x squared plus twice x minus x minus 2 equals to 0. If we take x common, it would be x plus 2. If you take minus 1 common, it would be x plus 2 equals to 0. So this would be x plus 2, x minus 1 equals to 0. 
therefore x equals to minus 2 or x equals to 1 now this is very very important to remember we just found the value of x a point has both x and y so we have to write when x equals to minus 2 y equals to let's put it in this equation this answer will be same either way but this is simpler minus 7 into minus 2 plus 8 that means 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 8 is 22 when x equals to 1 then y equals to minus 7 into 1 plus 8 which is 1 so the answer would be remember the answer has to be point that means x coordinate bracket open x coordinate which is x coordinate 1 y coordinate 1 and bracket open x coordinate is minus 2 y coordinate is 22 this one is rate of change rate of change is basically this you are given a known rate and you have to find an unknown rate so it would be unknown rate equals to known rate or given rate given rate multiplied by the derivative of area or volume of some sort of structure it can be a circle it can be a cylinder it can be a cone or it can be a sphere so that's the derivative derivative of that derivative derivative of that particular structure so the unknown rate is what we have to find another thing that you have to remember is a rate is anything by dt so the rate of change of area is dA by dt the rate of change of volume is dV by dt the rate of change of radius is dr by dt and that's it so the information let's look for the information oil drips from a leaking pipe and forms a circular pool we need to know what type of shape it is so it's a circle so it's a circle it's a circular pool on horizontal ground so we have a circular shape that we have to deal with and the area of the pool is increasing that means dA by dt at a constant rate 30 centimeters square so this information is given this information is given we can write given rate d a by d t equals to 30 centimeter square per second so this is the given rate now we know this one now find to two significant figures the rate of increase of the radius so that's the unknown rate so unknown rate is d r by d t this is something we need to find now we know what rate is given we know what rate we have to find now we have one more information information for finding the derivative and the information for finding the derivative is that the area of the pool is 40 centimeter square so when area is 40 we can write pi r square equals to 40 from here we can write r square equals to 40 by pi therefore r equals to plus minus square root since it's a radius we're just taking the positive value 40 divided by pi so this is the radius value of radius with which we can find the derivative so let's start the question so known rate dr by dt equals to given rate da by dt multiplied by derivative now since we're talking about the area of a circle the derivative can either be da by dr or it could be dr by dA, meaning the reciprocal of dA by dr. Since we have to find dr, it should be dr by dA. That means we need to find dr by dt. So this dA and this dA cancels off. Remember, since we are talking about the area of a circle, the derivative can only be dA by dr. But it can also be the reciprocal of dA by dr, which is dr by dA. So we can put the value in over here. So the value would be, uh, let me write it over here, uh, dr by dt equals to 30, since dA by dt is 30, into dr by dA. dr by dA is the reciprocal of dA by dr. Now we have to find the derivative. So the area of a circle is pi r square, where pi is a constant, pi is 3.142. So the derivative dA by dr is going to be, keep the constant here. r square has a derivative of twice r, so it would be twice pi r. So the value would be, at r equals to square root of 40 by pi, we can write dA by dr equals to 2 pi 
square root of 40 by pi. Now we can use the calculator to find the value of this. So it turns out, so 40 divided by pi is this. Square root of this is the value of square root of 40 by pi into 2 pi into 2 pi. This turns out to be 22.22. So let me write it down. 22.22. Uh, it's 22.419. So it should be 22.42. Okay. Now we have to find the actual rate. So the rate would be hence dr by dt equals to 30. This is the given rate. Multiplied by reciprocal of dA by dr. That should be 1 by 22.42. And that turns out to be 30 divided by that. And that is 1.34. 1.34 centimeter per second. Now we have to pay attention to what the format was. The answer format was two significant figure so that means the answer should not be 1.34 the answer should be 1.3 that is two significant figure 1.3